Hi everyone, welcome to Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little pumpkin. For this tutorial you're going to need plush yarn in orange or mustard or whatever colour you want your pumpkin to be and in green as well. I'm going to be working this project with 5mm crochet hook. In addition to this you're going to need pair of scissors, darning needle and some fibre fill. Now if you enjoyed my tutorials be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. I'm going to start off by working a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain two. From here you're going to skip the first chain and work eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Once you have your eight single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And there we go. From here you're going to slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round as we're going to work in a spiral. So start by slipping your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round, pull up a loop from there to work your first single crochet off round two going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet. Now when you work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. We're going to be working eight increases in this round. Here's my second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase, sixth increase, seventh increase, and my final one of this round, eighth increase here. This should bring your stitch count to 16. Going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Follow this on with single crochet, an increase, single crochet and increase all the way around. Go ahead and work this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. And we're going to work another single crochet in the next stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 32. Now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three. Stitch marker back in place, follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. Two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 40. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. I'm going to follow the single crochet on with the single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Now to finish one round you're going to need 40 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that you're going to follow the same method six times all together to have six rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work six rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of six rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 40. Now we're going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place. I'm going to follow this on with a decrease. To work a decrease you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And that is your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 32. 
Now going to start the next round with two single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat this all the way around. So two single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Go ahead and repeat that all the way around and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 16. Now from here we're going to be working our last and final round, so make sure to stuff this pumpkin up with fibre fill. We need to make sure we are doing this loosely so it's not too full with fibre fill. So in this round we will be working eight decreases. Pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three to work our first decrease. Stitch marker back in place and just like this, go ahead, stuff this head up with fibre fill first, work eight decreases all together and meet me back here. After working your eight decreases, you will notice that there is still a tiny little gap left. Now from here you can either use a darning needle to stitch this gap up or you can work two more decreases. I'll show you how to. There's one more and here's my second one. And once you've done your two more decreases you're going to slip stitch in the opposite stitch. So if this is where we finished we're going to slip our hook in the opposite stitch, pull up a loop and work a slip stitch. Now let's go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a really long tail because we're going to be using this tail to create the segments of this pumpkin. So pull this down to secure it in place and that's the basic shape of the pumpkin. Now from here you're going to use a darning needle and this bit of yarn to create the finer details. To do this you're going to take your darning needle and slip this needles it right in the center where this thread is coming out from. I'm going to guide it to come out from the center of the other side like this. So once it's through you pull it out and we're going to give this tug so that it kind of goes inverted as you can see and from here I'm going to create a ridge like this. So pull it out all the way and we're going back into that same stitch and we're going to go in the opposite direction this time yeah so we have split the pumpkin into half by doing this this will allow us to keep a track of the segments so I would like us to create six I would say so three on this half and three on this half as well as this is only a medium sized pump size pumpkin six segments will be perfect but if it was a bigger one you might want to go for eight and so on so from here once you've created the split between the shape you're going to just repeat that same process like this so I'm dividing this half into three sections by repeating the same process that we've just done each time pull this in and that will create this ridge and this effect and pull it in from here make it go back into that same stitch and that's one half of the pumpkin complete now as we can see we don't have that much yarn left so at this point what I would suggest is we're going to finish off with this and actually we can get away by doing now we need to finish off with this at the top so to fasten off you're going to isolate one stitch on the top like this with your needle and you're going to create a loop with your own thread that you had. So from here you're going to slip your needle back into that thread or the loop and you're going to pull this down and this creates a knot in place and secures your thread in place as well. I'm going to repeat that process one more time again. And 
and once it's nice and secure we can just break that off or just slip that back inside. Now we're going to get some more yarn and thread it into your, um, into your darning needle. We're going to continue working these segments on the other side of the half as well. So slip your needle back inside and create these ridges. So there's one ridge back in there again so make this a little bit longer so we don't have to attach any more yarn after this. one bring it in and there we go now there is already a thread that's coming out from the center so I'm going to give these two bits a, a little knot in place by pulling it in further first because we want to create that final ridge as well let's not forget about that ridge and once we've done that ridge we're going to double knot on the side and now I can slip this yarn back inside in the center to pull it through the fiber fill. Let's go ahead and slip this bit off and pull this in from another side of the stitches as well using your hook and there we go so that's done as well. We're now going to work on the leaf for this pumpkin so for this let's grab our green yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer and we're going to be chaining five one two three four five from here you're going to skip the first chain and work a slip stitch in the second chain from your hook so pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook in the next stitch after that you're going to be working a single crochet and in the stitch after that we're going to be working half double crochet so yarn, yarn over your hook slip it into the next stitch pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go once we've done that you're going to have one stitch chain stitch left and in that chain stitch you're going to be working six double crochet so let's show you how to work one, yarn over, go into that chain stitch to work, so pull up a loop from there, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through next two. That's my first double crochet, yarn over, back in that same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through next two. Now just like this we're going to be working six of them all together. Here's my third, fourth, fifth, and my final number six. Now make sure to hold this thread alongside the base because this way you'll end up working them, working it into the stitches without having to do it at the end. Now from here you're going to work half double crochet in the next stitch. We've already worked on those stitches but we're working at the base of these stitches this time. So yarn over, slip your hook in the next stitch, leave this little thread alongside and work your half double crochet right there. In the next stitch is going to be a single crochet and in the last and final stitch we're going back at the top of this and work a slip stitch so pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook from here catch this stitch here and work a chain one to get that pointy look and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off as well pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place we can now go ahead and snip this yarn off as we have weaved that end in already and using either a darning needle or your hook you're going to work this end in as well so let's do that and from here pull this in i'm going to continue 
can do this a couple of times. And there we go. And once you've worked it in, you can go ahead and snip this bit off as well. Now from here, you're going to join this green yarn back at the base again. So we're going to connect it right at the base. So this is the leaf. Slip your hook at the base here. You don't have to be too precise with this. So from here, pull this green yarn in. You can always have a brown stem if you wish to. And I'm just gonna go for the green one at this point. And I've given this uh, thread a little knot in place. I'm going back into that same stitch and we're going to chain four. One, two, three and four. From here you're going to skip the first chain and work a single crochet in the next three chain stitches. Starting from the second one from the hook is my first single crochet, second single crochet and my third. Once you work that you're going to slip stitch at the base of this leaf again and we're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a little bit longer tail than before this time because because we are going to be using that to stitch it onto our pumpkin so from here we are going to now grab our pumpkin so we've still got this thread coming out we can get rid of it now slip your hook from one side guide it to come out from right next to where this thread is coming out from loop you on your hook and pull it in and now we can go ahead and snip this yarn off as well and to attach this in place you're going to leave both of these things out on the top like this this is where i want to attach it like this so you're going to isolate one stitch at the base right at the base go in the center and isolate one stitch like this. Once we've done that, take the longer bit of yarn, loop it on your hook and pull it through. And now we're going to give this a little knot in place with the other bit of yarn that was coming out. So, from here, give it a double knot so it's nice and secure. And once we've done it, we can use our hook slip it through one side come up from where this tail end is loop it on your hook and pull it in do the same with the other side as well other thread i'm going to put, loop it onto this hook and pull it in Once we've done that, we can now go ahead and snip this off from both sides. If you can still see those green, green bits, you can give the body a little squeeze and that should disappear. And there we have it, here's our little pumpkin. If you enjoyed making this pumpkin with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.